it's a whole week of cinematic mayhem. This is America! They're just very exciting, fun films. These are God's creatures! <laughs> Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Hyperspace Weekly. I'm Jonathan Lear, and on today's program, we'll take a look at the Mega Fantasy Club Circa that opened last week in Toronto. Plus, there's a hipper, more update Canada south of the border, courtesy of a rather well-known mouse. I've got a new gaming device that'll really blow the wind up your simulated skirt. And if you like your movies with a smattering of splattering or just plain bizarre, then there's a film festival that just might be up your twisted alley, which is where we'll start today. The Toronto After Dark Film Festival is happening once again this year, sponsored in part by Space and Driving Classics. Adam Lopez, director of the festival, dropped by our studio this past week to tell us what we can expect in this year's celluloid carnival of the bizarre. Where America's best and brightest come to celebrate. Oh! Freedom? Yes, beer! Anyone know where I could get some beer? This is America! Toronto After Dark Film Festival is seven nights of amazing new horror and fantasy cinema. Uh, what we've basically done is we've looked around the whole world for the coolest new films that no one has seen yet in the city. Uh, looking at all the other film festivals that take place from Asia to Europe to North America and gather these, these gems that are just very, very cool and yet haven't been played yet. Let me set things up for you. It's the future. This is our second year. Um, we had a really good turnout last year. And this year, we're expecting over 5,000 to come. Um, and we're looking at a seven-night event. So it's a whole week of uh, amazing cinematic mayhem from around the globe. We've got 14 feature films uh, which will be having their theatrical premiere in Toronto. Breaking it out, uh, we always like to look after zombies. They're a core uh, group within our festival audience. And we've discovered three uh, zombie features that haven't yet screened that we're really excited about. We also have Asian thrilling cinema. We also have an epic film that was shot in BC, here in, in Canada, um, and that is In the Name of the King, A Dungeon Siege Tale. You better be right about him. It's just a whole a medley of genre stars within that feature. And uh, our other collection of films we're calling Bloody Mayhem, and that's basically a number of indie jam horror films um, that haven't screened here in Toronto again. <laughs> They're just very, very exciting, fun. Um, I think audience is going to love it. Um, they tend to have sort of a psycho killer element to them. So someone chopping up teenagers in the woods. I like this guy. People, I think, will really enjoy them because they're just they're going to be great with crowds. Life has never been so 